Okay, so last night, they always end up going together late at night, in the middle of the night, and they're plugging these in. So I gave it a test run. I am really, really, really happy with it. But um, my guitars, uh, I don't know if anybody notices, it takes a while to get up on the website. I hang out with them. Um, I play them. I might swap the pickups around. Uh, on that note, these are perhaps really unattractive pickups, but they work really, really great with this being a baritone. Um, this pickup, you know, on a baritone uh, can be of concern, you know, under gain, you could just easily end up with mud, but uh, this is Seymour Duncan, it's a distortion, it's a performer, and they work really well together on this. So, you know, yes, uh, you know, something like the rail hammers would look really snazzy in there, but I, I haven't tried the rail hammers in here yet. I might actually do that. But these are, uh, these are what I'm going with. So today, I mean, it looks finished, but I'm actually um, grinding on the, on the, uh, on the nut. I, I hand make these, I hand cut these out of, out of bone and I'll blend that into the neck, but I am unhappy with the shape of the neck over here. Um, it's pretty slim, but you know, feedback from other people, my own personal opinions and hanging out with it. Uh, my necks tend to be D shaped slim, but I'm going to take some more off of this and I'm, I literally use a rasp file for that. This thing is so aggressive. Uh, you might be cringing thinking of, you know, taking that to it, but I, I literally grind down the areas that in my memory of playing it and the file helps keep it straight. And yes, I'll have to refinish the neck, that's fine. You know, I have a, a can, soup can over there full of uh, the finish I'm using on this, the oil. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and get this neck to where I like it. Just so you know, the smell of this fresh cut mahogany is priceless. It's a beautiful day. I'm hearing birds chirping. I haven't heard since last summer. Uh, just a beautiful day in the shop. Anyhow, let's get back to it. Okay, I uh, don't use the sandpaper a whole lot, but for something like this, and this is pretty aggressive, so this is pretty rough yet, and kind of want to leave it, you know, it's a fast neck, nothing sticky about it, but the finish I use, it it stays pretty, uh, pretty user-friendly, but this neck is borderline, borderline, borderline amazing, um, it's it's going really really good i'd like to leave as much chunk as i can it does uh have a part in the tone i don't like a thin wafy tone as a result and i did experiment with some primer here we're hitting the primer that's all right i have like i said i have all this finish and i'll be able to redo this whole thing and blend it in and this this was an experiment and, and leaving that. And I'm gonna to try to leave that. I, you know, for whatever reason on this guitar, I kinda of like it. But I am going to, uh, now with, a, with a, a smoother file, a smoother round file, there's also this style here. These guys are crazy. They keep everything really straight on a straight plane. But if for one second it hits a green and goes that way, <laughs> it leaves 
these tire treads really, really deep. Those are almost like razor blades. Um, and I have this out on the bench, but I'm almost, uh, almost afraid to use it. But uh, these are seriously aggressive files. It's like they don't do much. And then when you get just the right angle, oh man, but they want to veer. If I were to use this, I tend to clamp the neck and hold it so it doesn't scoot in any certain direction. And But this, these files will make really quick work. And if you get it working right, I would tend to go this way because the neck tapers and go where it's actually laying the grain down. And uh, my hands, whatever guitar I'm working on, my hands end up looking like the finish of whatever finish I'm doing. <laughs> Can't wait till it looks like that. No, but uh, anyways, yeah, can't be afraid to uh, do some adjustments, even if it looks like it's done, you've been playing it. And this one, I actually have to take all back apart. I think as far as looks, this will look better if this was darker. Not quite as dark as the head, but this guy here, and it's on the 16 inch radius, the same as the neck to hold these these little uh, tailstock pieces and the strings do feed through the back. But there's our multi-scale baritone so far. And I'm really, really happy after plugging it in and, and hearing it to be in this long of a baritone. Um, it, it's 28 and a half inches and that's getting into short scale bass. But uh, with the 27 inch baritone, down here you can still play leads on it and it it doesn't sound like it's it doesn't sound like it's screaming there's run into a lot of problems with the higher notes on these and they just they sound I either sound hypnotic and and wonderful or <laughs> really uh brash and annoying but this this is kind of to me a cello in the guitar world between a guitar and a bass and I'm really happy with the build.